what's going on hustlers back at you guys with another video today we have not just one but two special guests one of them um he is somebody who was one of my very first clients way way back in like 2023 and then another one is a, a face that you guys are going to see here a lot more often um but without further ado let's get into the video so with me today i have mr sam white sam is from the uk um, living in Barcelona, probably going to be in another country by the next time you guys see him, Mr. International <laughs> Businessman. Uh, so he helps run all my consultations and stuff like that. And then our very, very special guest is Mr. Rico Teamer. Um, shout out to him. Thank you for being here. Thank you for believing in me way, way back when in the early days of uh, NAMIAD. So Rico's won uh, about 23 contracts now um in under a year so he's going to talk about kind of his experience um and his journey um and then i'm going to let sam ask the questions i'm just going to kind of be a moderator today and let you guys build up some familiarity with them um so sam if you can introduce yourself and then rico you introduce yourself and then we'll get right yeah into thank it. you dave pleasure to be on the on the channel um so i've spoken to quite a few of our clients already um on some of the consultations but yeah as you can tell from my accent, um, I'm slightly, slightly different to other people we speak to, but I'm from the UK, I live in Barcelona now. Um, I actually originally come from a health and fitness background, used to be a personal trainer, and then um, just trying out a couple of things, came across um, yourself and your your company, and then just started working with you, and it's going upwards ever since. So yeah, it's been a it's been a good ride so far, good ride so far. But uh, yeah, I'll let, I'll let everyone's here to hear Rico's story more importantly. So I'll let Rico. Just give a quick intro on himself. Um, Rico Teamer with NHQS Corp. Um, started the DLA three, maybe four years ago, trying to do business with DLA. Finally found a, a mentor through Dave who really knows what he's talking about. Um, it didn't really take long for me to catch on and uh, understand what he was trying to teach and then I put it into practice and when you have a good mentor uh, you do exactly what they say you become successful and uh, uh, it didn't take me long to win my first contract with the DLA and that's kind of where how me and uh yeah that's, really, that's, that's really cool awesome. I think um, we'll just backtrack slightly Rico just take it from the top like how did you how did you get into to GovCom? um at my former job doing construction i was at the airport in uh, houston at hobby and we were doing a iptv um job changing out all the tvs to iptv and i started chit chatting with uh the airport uh people and they told me how we were working on my company was working on a contract with them and then i was like well i didn't even know how they did it so they kind of explained to me how how it works. And I started realizing I was, I was working on construction projects with schools, um, police departments, veteran hospitals. And it started making me think, well, I'm already doing this. Let me see what all this entails. And I started YouTube and I ran into the OG, uh, Eric coffee and YouTube university. And I started the LLC. Didn't know what I was going to do, what I was going to sell, but I said, person like me i just jump into it and i'll say while i'm following i'll figure it out sure thing and um, and what more specifically what what aspect of govcon are you in right now well right now um it's strict is dla i have had some local contracts for office supplies um i've sold batteries to uh fire departments um but yeah with the dla is um you know, the DLA is kind of random. Sometimes it's screws. It's, I've done um, fiber optics. Um, I've done cylinders. I've actually sold small batteries. So it's just, um, I can't say I'm, I'm in a real niche because you try to niche it down to fiber optics, but sometimes you run across stuff that you just, you just got to beat up. Sure thing, sure thing. Interesting. So you basically, I know your background was in fiber optics before, and then we had kind of targeted that, but then like, I guess based on like your past performance and then as like a byproduct of that, you kind of started to branch out into other stuff like, like batteries. Is that kind of how that came about? Yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. 
Sweet. So after you had successfully bid um, on the fiber optic stuff, then you, I guess you came across some other stuff. Did any contracting officers reach out to you or was this stuff that you just found like while you were perusing dibs? Actually, um, some contractors, uh, they did reach out to me. I did have one reach out to me for some camera supplies. Mm, okay. And I mean, they, it, it wasn't me going through dibs and having to package it a certain way. They just said, hey, we needed some camera supplies. Give me a quote. Um, so I forgot about that one. But yeah. Um, yeah. So like I said before, I mean, you got if, when you get a good mentor, you told me it was going to happen. Once you start winning, like sometimes I don't even have traceability. They'll just, I'll bid on it and, I, and I'll win it. So. Yeah. Yeah. And in the beginning, like were they at, in the beginning, they were asking you for traceability, right? Like, oh, yeah. can you send us the paperwork? But after you start winning and then they start building that familiarity with you, then they knew they're like, okay, yeah, Rico's on the ball. So like, we're not even going to send him the email for the paperwork. We're just going to award the contract to him kind of thing. Yep. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, Sam, you can do your thing. I just wanted to clarify that. And just, um, just walk us through Rico. Sort of, I guess, what was life like before GovCon and before you kind of started winning contracts? You. Um, well, I still have a full-time, uh, gig, uh, I'm a PM for a fiber optic gas company. Um, but honestly, um, I like what I do, but it's different when you're doing it for you, you're solving problems for yourself and you have to grow and you have to learn. And it is, it's, it's, it's really life altering because you start to believe that you can do anything and um yeah you start you start just dreaming more and, and start uh going back to that childhood i mean the kind of childlike mentality where you want to be adventurous and start doing all kinds of time things so it really changes your life once you start getting out there and, and starting to see that this is real and you can do something for yeah, yourself would you say that like your your confidence has changed or like maybe like the way you set your goals has changed as like a byproduct of like finding success in the industry? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I do a lot of reading. Um, I don't really even listen to music anymore. I, I, I was a big sports fan, but mm -hmm. now I don't even watch sports. I'm just constantly learning, reading, reading. And there's one book that I want to mention. It's called uh, 10X is Easier Than 2X. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm just trying to 10X everything. It's not by Grant Cardone, but it's another, I forgot, the, Dan Sullivan is the- uh, Dan Sullivan, the Dan Sullivan, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm familiar with him. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. So you feel like you're more like, um, kind of focused on your on your business now. It's almost like your baby, but it's like, um, because you've seen the growth, you're kind of like, okay, let me see how far I can really take this thing. Is that kind of where your head's at now? Exactly, exactly. I mean, I do have a, like I said, I do have a gig. But I'm always thinking about whatever I learn from my gig, it's always going to help me with my gig is really paid training to help me to boost my my, my real <laughs> my real <laughs> business. You know what I'm saying? So that's exactly gotcha. where I take it. Well, gotcha. What do you think, uh, Rico, before you, you kind of, I guess, pulled the trigger and wanted to really dive deep into the government contracting space? What was the biggest concerns for you before working with us? Um, one of the big concerns was, and I think it's for a lot of people is making a mistake, getting into, getting in too big, getting over your head. Um, sometimes it's, it was about the money, but, uh, they was like, I mean, it's about your budget. You, you don't have to go for the big ones. You can go for something like some ladders or some screws or some screwdrivers. So that kind of, that kind of helped too. But yeah, the, the faint, the main concern was just getting into something that you can't get yourself out of and understanding the lingo. Um, it's, it's, it's really, for some people, I can, I can understand why you were getting there and you start seeing all those acronyms and you'd be like, what in the world am I getting myself into? Which by but, the way, I have a free sheet. I have a free sheet. If you click the link down below, it's a free sheet that breaks all the acronyms down and makes it into layman's terms. That's like my, my little sponsorship. Also, this video is sponsored by Lucy, the new free software. Click the link down below. But I'm gonna let Sam do his thing. I just gotta pay the bill somehow. I did. Um, and, and you could be as, as open as you want it and honest as you'd like to be. But did you have any concerns before, like 
working with us, you know, like investing this money into getting help and guidance, what, what was the concerns you had before that? Not really. I'm, I honestly, uh, I was in the a network with uh, mm -hmm. Eric Coffee, and his they name his name kept okay. coming up over and over and over and over and over. And you got to put yourself in a, ner a network. You got to invest in yourself. And in that network with with Eric Coffee, I knew if somebody suggested somebody that it wasn't uh, somebody who was a fraud that had been vetted. So um, once I decided to to make that jump and uh, contacted and and I met Day over the uh, the phone and, and then over the computer. It took like 10 minutes and I knew he knew what he was talking about. It didn't take long at all. And I was like, it was this was a good spin, a mm -hmm. good investment. So you felt like it was almost a like, good level of trust is what made you want to decide to go ahead. Was there anything else yeah. as well that really gave you the confidence to move forward? Um, Not really. I mean, like I said, I was in, I had already been through the whole YouTube, you know, YouTube University now it's just time to jump. You know what I mean? It's just you get to a point to where it's like I, I can't look at another video, I can't read another line. I need to do something, and that's where I was. Taking action, pulling the trigger. All the time. Yeah. That's what matters. That's the only thing that really makes a difference. At the end of the day, if you're trying to find like a um, a catalyst for like changing your life, the only real thing that you could do is like start doing stuff, taking action. So yeah, exactly. you mentioned it was like you're up to like 22, 23 contracts now, Rico. So like, what's from all that when you started, what's really changed for you now in your in your company? Like, how have you scaled since then? Well, I'm still one man so uh, show, so I'm solo mm -hmm. dolo. But I'm more comfortable from bidding, more comfortable with looking at contracts, more comfortable with packaging, more more comfortable with even being able to explain to when I do get someone in exactly how. Mm -hmm. It should flow. So you're almost you know, from like a skill from like um, a skill set level. It's it's much different now. Right, right. And I read somewhere if you can't explain what you know to somebody, you don't know it. So yeah. that's yeah. What, that's where I am. I can actually explain it to them and, and write it down and and put it in some to some notes to where we that's that's this is law. This is what we do. So when the time comes for you to like make that jump and then you hire employees, like you feel pretty confident in your ability to like write out like standard operating procedures or like write out a process for them like hey this is how we're gonna pick our bids this is how we're gonna submit the bids and then this is how we're gonna get our traceability kind of thing yeah i'm I'm already working on something i just have to you know critique it critique it and critique it so got you and, got and you. on your journey rico what would you say is some of the most important things you've learned um the most important thing that i've learned is that it's okay to be afraid um but it's not okay not to take action mm, that's a bar <laughs> clip that yeah clip that we need to clip that we need to clip that some that's gonna end up on like tiktok or something somewhere clip that. <laughs> can, can, can you that expand on that rico how have you got any like real life examples of where you felt afraid but you you made the steps anyway um, real life examples. <laughs> I jumped out of a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's that. I was scared to death, and I just, I was like, after I do this, there's no reason why I can't mm -hmm. do anything else. So that's let's do it. Was so, there anything? Okay. Um, like your the last contract that you showed me. I'm not gonna say the dollar amount, but it was a very oh, yeah. nice size, big size contract. Was there anything about that contract that you're like, eh? This maybe might be like I might be biting off like a, a a little more than I can chew, but like I'm gonna do it anyways. Like anything in GovCon that maybe like freaked you out a little bit, but you're like, hey, I'm gonna do it anyways. Throw my name in the hat. Well, yeah, actually, that contract and there's a couple other contracts to where, um, you have a certain budget, and you start winning. And like I said, uh, with the 10x is better. It's, it's quicker than 2x. So now I'm on trying to be do 2x. So I know I have to go out to certain contracts to get to 10x. Um, but it's like, where am I going to get the money from? Mm. Or, you know, I don't have this money. So my again, taking action is like, okay, I'm gonna take action. And if I win the contract, the network that I'm in won't let me fail. That's the way I, I feel. And then you were right. like, hey, do you have anybody that can fund the contract? And I was like, well, matter of fact, 
I yeah. do have some money for you. I can give you yeah. the money and help you finish the fulfill this contract. So exactly, yeah. So, yeah shoot I mean, first, ask questions later. That's always the best way to do it. Yeah, when you when you're looking at that those numbers and you like, what happens if I do win this? Then what am I going to do? You know, it's that is kind of scary, but you still have to go forward and and take action. And I mean, because that's the only way you grow. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Was that was there any other challenges? You faced Rico. Is that like some of the biggest challenges you feel like you faced that you've you've been able to overcome? Um, some of the biggest challenges, like like I said before, was actually understanding contracts, mm -hmm. understanding the legal, where to go to get contracts. Because you hear it when you when you first get on uh, YouTube, it's Sam, 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 and Sam can be so frustrating, you know, and. And it just boils down to getting a mentor. I keep saying, I'm gonna keep saying that, but Sam can be so frustrating and it can drive people away, but you gotta stand still. You got, you just got, like with anything else, you gotta keep on pushing and, you, and it'll, it'll get, you'll start to learn it more. But that was frustrating as just the registration, that was frustrating. The DLA registration was frust <laughs> frustrating. Um, I mean, um, and then, going to networking events because I go to local networking events here in uh, San Antonio and not knowing anything, anybody, that's frustrating. Uh, and feeling like you're, you don't know anything and everybody's watching you and they know you don't know anything. So, I mean, that's frustrating, but you got to push through it. Yeah, you did it anyway. You did it anyway. Yeah. If you didn't you go to anyway. If you didn't go to those events and then if you didn't like keep researching after you felt frustrated with Sam, I mean, you wouldn't be where you were, where you were now. I mean, if you stopped at any one of those obstacles, um, you know, it'd be zero contracts, but it's really 23 contracts. And like, I think each one of those is, is like kind of um, like it, it kind of like epitomizes like, OK, I faced a set of obstacles and then I overcame them and now I'm dealing with a bigger contract. And then you overcome a bigger set of obstacles and then you get a bigger contract kind of thing, you know? I do have a good story, if you don't mind. Oh, share it. The floor is yours. The floor is yours. <laughs> oh, okay, so I reached out to you about this. Um, it was about like 2,700 screws, and I bid on it, and I won it. And I didn't realize it said 2,700 each. You remember me contacting you about that? I feel like we did talk about this, and it was like a big, big order. Yeah. And then uh, you told me, well, live and learn, you're going to do that again. Yeah. So what I did was I said, you know what? He said to get on the phone. So I did a I did a par uh about a, a change order to see if I can get it to uh, at least let me do a hundred each. <laughs> so did the par, got on the phone. Um by the way, for those of you guys that don't know, a par is a post award request. So like when you want to submit a change or you want to change like the logistics of a contract. So in this instance, Rico was gonna have to individually package two thousand seven hundred screws but then he changed it so now he could put 100 screws in each bag. So he didn't have to do that many screws. It was like, what, 27 bags instead of 2,700 bags now? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, and again, if you don't take action and just, or you, just throw, you can just throw your hands up and be like, okay, I got to do it. Or I can be like, hey, all I can do is tell me no. All I can do is tell me no. So it ended up uh, going that route and um, it worked out pretty well. So that's good Sweet. No, that's a good... That's a good that's a good piece of, of insight right there because one it talks about pars and then two, I mean if you ever get punched in the mouth on a contract, one, you can just make a request to change it, whereas they can say is no. Or two, you have ten days to cancel it if all else fails and you won't get you won't get burned for it. So you might as well just throw your name in the hat and see what happens. So what's um what's next for your for your business, Rico? Um Next is to win bigger contracts and to grow. I found out through a certain college um, from going to a networking event that you can, as a small business, can get um, interns and they'll pay for it. Yes, yes, this is uh, true. So that's why I'm really trying to work out that that whole being able to, here's the book, I'm going to train you, and let's get it popping. So that's going to be next, getting some interns in so I can get uh more contracts out more bidding going on because that's how you're going to grow got you so how are you planning to structure that like you're going to have the intern do more bidding 
and then you're going to go do like business development and go to networking events? Are you going to have them doing admin work to free up your time? Like, how are you planning on using that additional body or two bodies? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the, uh, my additional, my role that I'm playing right now, uh, to my daughter. Okay. I've been training her and then she's going to train the next person. And then I'll be able to go out and do business, develop, and I'm still being on contracts. Um, I will have a full time job. <laughs> got you, got you, got you. Okay, so you're gonna have your daughter do it, and then your daughter's gonna train somebody, and then that's gonna allow you to go from working in your business to working on your business. On. Yeah, exactly. Which, that's yes, the big. Di- that's the big difference. That's how like that. I think that's where a lot of entrepreneurs mess up. Is they're like, okay, I'm gonna keep doing everything myself, but. Um, I don't remember who said this. It's from a book, but the rule is like, if somebody can do something 70% as good as you can do it or better, then you need to delegate it, remove yourself from it, and then go do the stuff that only Rico can do. Go do the business development stuff, talking about fiber optic cables and those mm-hmm. kinds of topics that only Rico can talk about. I'm sure, yep. I'm sure because she's your daughter, she's probably just as smart as you, maybe even a little bit smarter. So oh, she yeah. can do all the, all the technical stuff, all the admin work, right? that right. you already could do, but she could do at least 70% is good. So you're going to go do this stuff that's going to be unique to your skill set um, and basically start working, you know, on the business rather than in it and freeing up your time. Because I think that's a big thing as to why a lot of people start, you know, entrepreneurship, but specifically DLA is like, okay, I want to have more time. And then they want to have more time to do this stuff that they enjoy, right? So, I mean, if you enjoy your day job, right, but then you get to take your day job and then bring that into your business, then it just becomes a lot more enjoyable. And then you get to spend your time a lot more efficiently in terms of like the growth of your business. But one last, one last question for you, for you, Rico, because you've got a, a really cool story and a really cool journey. And it's amazing to see how far you've come in that time. So with that said, what would you tell someone who is looking to get into to get started with the DLA and is considering coaching and mentorship. I would say stop straddling the fence. Take action. Um get you a mentor because a year from now um it's going to be a year from now. So either you can stay where you are or you can go into the unknown and be different than where you are. That's 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 like a, a rule of the universe. You either go moving forward or going backwards. There is no standing still. Yeah, there so is no decision. Stagnant. You get better. <laughs> there is no you stagnant. get better. You get worse. You're growing or you're dying. That's it. That's it. When, that's when it. So say, they keep. What's it called when people who keep doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result? Insanity. That's it. Insanity. Yeah, that's the textbook <laughs> definition of insanity. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I would definitely just 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 make a decision. Um, you got your mentor right here. It it, it works. If you do what he says, one thousand percent, you are going to be successful. And you don't. And the and the cool thing about it is, you don't have to go out after million dollar contracts. You can go after hundred dollar contracts. You can go with twenty dollar contracts, and then build up your confidence, and then go after uh bigger contracts. That is the great thing about it. So, like I said, take action. Get you get you this this mentor. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only one I can speak for. Get that one and you're going to be good. Gotcha. Yeah, you can get proof of concept. Sometimes people come to us and like, okay, I want big hitters, right? I want to I want to make $10,000 my first month. And sometimes people are like, listen, I got a $500 budget. What can I do with $500? And then when we tell people, you could play in this game with $500 contracts, Rico's telling you, you can play with $20 contracts. Get proof of concept. And then... As you deliver on those $20 contracts, contracting officers are going to pick up the phone and start calling you and then being like, hey, can you give this to me? They're not even going to bust your chops anymore with the paperwork thing. But listen, I've already seen that you could deliver. Can you just help? Can you help me out and, and provide this to me? Because the market is so is so underserved. It's not like it's not like everybody's fighting tooth and nail for for, you know, their own piece of the pie. The industry is so big. Rico's doing things that I didn't even, I've never even like thought about doing, but there's more than enough to go around for, for everybody. And it's so underserved that contracting officers are reaching out to firms just like where I was four years ago, just like where Rico is now, 23 contracts later. So there's more than enough to go around for everybody. And there's all kinds of ticket sizes from $20 to $200 to $200,000. So 
Um, I'm glad that you guys are hearing it from somebody other than other than me. Now, Rico, I know you do have something else that you're on the, that you're talking about on the side. Um, do you want to share that with with the audience? What you started? Um, yeah, I started my own YouTube channel, and it's basically about uh, personal growth and mindset. And um, you can you because you have to have a, a certain kind of mindset to do to do these things. Uh, if you think if you think a negative and you think that this is for everybody else and it's not for me, then I mean you're wrong. I mean you just I didn't have a a clue, and now I'm 23 contracts in, and I just won a $12,000 contract. By the way, let's go. That has a let them know. That has a 60 a 60 percent markup. A 60 percent. Let them 60 percent markup. So I mean, 60 percent profit. Let them know. Let them know. I don't. I mean, what's, the, what's the number on that? That's got. That's got to be like what? Like almost 7k profit. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. seventy two hundred dollars, but y'all y'all here seventy two hundred dollars at one time. I don't. You gotta you gotta have a really nice job to make that in one day off <laughs> one contract. But y'all didn't hear yeah. it from me though. Didn't so, hear I mean, me. so yeah, my that's what my YouTube channel is. I'm, I'm gonna build their mind up and I'm gonna send them to you, and we gonna get them, we gonna get them going. So we're gonna we're gonna get them right. You get the mind right. You build them up, and then we'll put them into action. There you go. Sweet, sweet. Any last words? Anything else that you want people to take away from this? You want to shout out the name of your YouTube channel or anything? The name of my YouTube channel is Rico Von Teamer. It's my it's my full name. Um, I just started it, so I, I have maybe 40, 40 videos, and like most of them are shorts. But um, yeah, and I, I just want to leave here and tell y'all, man, you, you really do need to make a decision. Quit straddling the fence. The proof is is right here. It's it's rare that you find people or or a person who's actually a person of their word and have value. And I know a lot of times we don't have a lot of money and we and we don't want to spend money, but you have to spend money to grow. Here's something real quick: like there is a process. You cannot skip the process. If you get a mentor, you can speed up the process. Get you a mentor. Speed up the process. You can't skip it. You can't skip. There's no shortcut. We can make yeah. it easier. We can make it quicker, but you can't skip it. But you can't skip. Reading, it. I was reading a book, and somebody said everybody's gonna pay on the road to success, but you pay in three currencies on the road to success. You either pay with time, you pay with money, or you pay in mistakes. And whichever currency that you choose to pay in, you forego the other two. So if you pay with time, right, and you take your time. You're going to save out on making mistakes and you're going to save out on spending money. But if you pay with money, you're going to save a hell of a lot of time and you're going to save a hell of a lot of mistakes. So yeah. every, you got to pay something yeah. on the road to success. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a toll. It's a toll. And it's not a toll free road. So it's going to ask something of you on the way. So it's up to you guys to decide what kind of currency you want to use on the journey and on, on in the process um, as you start to make your way towards being successful, whatever that looks like for you guys. Yeah, so absolute pleasure to have you on the channel, Rico. Super excited um, that you guys got to got to see Sam. You guys can see a lot more of him because we have um, a couple more videos that we're gonna that we're gonna film together. But I'm tired of you guys getting on the call and then you speak with Sam <laughs> and then you're like, "Who is this British bloke? I think I've never seen this guy before." Yeah, That's not fair, to Sam. He can't. It's the accent that throws people it. off, but it's not fair to Sam. I don't want to with that you guys are taking shots at my guy so you guys are gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna put him in front of you guys' face and you guys are gonna have to get really familiar with him but it was an absolute pleasure um to speak with you again Rico. i'm gonna link his channel down below go get your mind right go watch that personal development content you guys heard it here first last contract was 12k 60 percent profit margin you do the math one contract that at a time um, we've got yeah. Sam White here. Next time you see him, he's probably going to be like in Dubai or something. Who knows? I, I, I don't know. That background's going to look different every time you see him. Um, and then you guys got me here. Videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Click the link down below. Join our school community. $19 a month weekly coaching calls. I don't think there's any better bang for your buck at $19 a month with weekly coaching calls. Get started. It's 19, it's 19 bucks. You spend more than that on your Netflix subscription. But... Yeah. 
with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Not only am I looking forward to your success, I'm sure of it. Keep printing those dollars, hustlers.